Hello. In this video, I'm going to be putting together the couples gnome kit. Um, I don't have an already made one because I sold it. Um, I'm also going to show you how to just put these together as well since it's the same exact thing minus just a few things. So I'll show you that quick as well. Here's my kit. I'm just going to remove everything from the bag. We've got all our little accessory things. My stuff in. My rice. And then my bodies. And hats. Just, oh, also, make sure you have a pair of scissors and get your glue gun plugged in and heating up so it'll be ready by the time we are. Step one. Let's put the rice in the bodies. Um, this bag has enough for both. And you're just gonna put half in one, half in the other. Pretty easy peasy. I mean, minus actually getting it in there. Oh, that went a lot better than I expected. That seems good. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. There we go. So we got rice in. Get that out of my way. And then stuffing. I'm not going to use all the stuffing. I'm going to reserve a little bit for, um, I believe it's the boy gnome hat. It has a little bit of stuffing in it. And I probably have way more than I need here. This particular stuffing, um, it just came out of a pillow. Just reusing it. I like it better than the polyfill. It's just softer. This is like cotton. So I'm poking it down in there. I'm going to fill it so that I've got a little room at the top so I can close it easily. That's pretty good. So I've got like that much room. just poke little balls at a time get it in there and I do poke it down in you don't want like a big gap at the bottom so make sure you're poking it down in I'll do a little bit more and if you're doing this kind of gnome same step that seems good so I've got way more than I need left over I don't think that I've given y'all quite as much I just put together myself a quick kit so that I could show you exactly how you would be doing it because I mean yours comes in all little bags and stuff now I need to get out these little rubber bands I did give you a couple extra because sometimes they break I'll just get them out and this isn't gonna show so it doesn't matter that you know they're neon colors I just kind of bunch it up and just wrap this around, I don't know, five or six times. I'm just gonna kind of separate the top like that just so that I can push that down. The rubber band sometimes isn't all lined up perfect. If I do that, it just kind of makes it roll down into place. Next one. These are super easy. Me actually sewing the little bodies and hats takes more time than it does to put them together. But they're fun and anyone can do it. Okay, got my bodies. Now I'm just gonna trim off this excess using my scissors. I don't wanna go too far down, but about like that so there's about a half inch or so there's another little nub on top this will just set that side that's garbage all right next step make sure your seam is in the back I'm gonna just do one for now because I only have one one beer one boy gnome 
And I like to just kind of fix the fur a little bit. And I've done this to all the beards before packing, but there's always extra hairs. I can't help it. They just crazy. They get in my nose and everything when I'm cutting it. It's horrible. I just get it all going the right way, all the extra off. Okay, we're ready to put it on. Seam in the back. I'm just gonna lay in there. I'm gonna place it up right about here, right before it starts to kind of curve over at the top. So right about like this. I'm just gonna put a line of hot glue. My hot glue gun, actually, <laughs> I accidentally left it plugged in all night. So we got, we got some glue rolling already. Gears might need a little extra time to get heated up. I'm just gonna carefully place that on. Try not to burn myself. And try not to get glue all up in your beard hairs. Ugh, drives me crazy. So we're just gonna let that set a minute. So it doesn't slide around. I didn't do the best at keeping my seam in the back, but that's okay. It's a little off kilter. And if you want to attach it a little bit extra, feel free to load this up with glue and then carefully place it down. Make sure you don't get all your hairs trapped up under there. I gotta quit messing with it while this sets. It's so hot from being on all night, it's gonna take a few extra minutes. Um, okay, so we gotta get our hat going while that's setting up. This is the boy gnome and he gets the plaid hat. Um, so when you are deciding which way you want your bend to go, I like them to go, so I don't want this one to bend this way and this one to also bend this way because when I sit together, I want one going this way, one going this way. So I'll make the boy hat go this way and then I can make the girl hat go this way. And it doesn't matter, you can do it the other way. So if you wanted your girl on this side, you can do the hat that way and then the boy hat that way. That's my personal preference. If you want them to both go the same way, have at it. It is yours, you're gonna be looking at them, not me. Um, so yeah, boy hat. So he just takes a little bit of stuffing, not a ton. I'm gonna, I guess since I got her over here, I'll make it go this way. Just a tiny little bit. Just push it up in there. This just helps when you put it down on the thing. You don't have like this indentation. It'll help fill that out and make it more even. So maybe a little bit more. And then I like to just kind of separate in the middle so there's kind of like a little hole where this can go down in. So I've got that ready. It's gonna go on there. First I wanna get my nose on. And I'm gonna just part my fur a little bit kind of in center. So I have a nice spot to stick it. So it's not just like dangling off a few furs on the front. It's kind of deep down in there. And I'm very particular, probably more so than I need to be. Um, you can see the grain of these, like on the, I don't know if you could see in the video, but I can see like a circle. I don't like that to show on the tip of the nose looks goofy. So I just make sure that I glue so that the nose doesn't have that weird circle-y pattern on it. I'll just give it a little gob and then press it in. And I just hold it there for a few seconds. Now I can put my hat on. And I'll make it go this way. So again, make sure 
And any bits that might show on the outside, you can just poke back in. No big deal. It's really, you gotta squish your body, shove it in. And make sure your seams are on the outside edges. a little fiddling. I'm just going to pull it all the way down as far as I can get it and then I can lift it back up. This way it's on there nice and tight. And I don't glue the hat. You you absolutely can. I just it's not necessary because it's it's not like he's doing anything. He's just going to be sitting somewhere. And then I'm just gonna push that up a little so this, his nose is just peeking out. And then I need to create like a faux fold. So I just kind of pinch it and then try to tuck a little bit of the upper part of the hat down in. So now there's this, and this has lines which makes it kind of handy because of the pattern of the fabric. You can make it even all the way around by just making sure the line is even. So there, there's, so it looks like he's got a little fold and he really doesn't, it's just, it's just a pretend little faux fold. So he's ready, set, go. I'm gonna show you quick on this one it's basically the exact same thing, except we don't do a faux fold. Um, you put, I'll show you. Oh, I put his beard way down. So I've got stuffing in there. And because I went so far down, my stuffing is up pretty far. And it's just to right here. If you want your hat to fold lower, just only put your stuffing into baby about here and then the hat won't be as tall and this is super easy to put on because it's so stretchy you just shove it down over his head pop his little nose in and then you just squish it around till it's shaped nice so there's that one that is super easy And you just play with it till he looks cute. Oh, let me show you. I've been making these little tiny ones <laughs> out of just like the scraps. So I've got bags full of like sock scraps. This is what comes off. So his body, I used a part of this. And then for his hat, after I cut this off, I just went up like this and made half a triangle. And then turned it inside out and sewed it and then turned it back the right way little and fickle and pain in the assy. But look how cute they're gonna be. I just need to get some noses. I ordered some tiny little balls. So cute and they're just filled with rice. Anyway, back to the project at hand. Let's get the lady gnome put together. I'm gonna put these in after I put the hat on. I don't glue these, again you can. I just think it's easier to get them how you want them if you don't glue them first. And again, she's just gonna be sitting somewhere. And if they do get pulled out, just poke them back in, no big deal. But they're plenty long enough that they stay in pretty good. So his hat is going this direction. I want her hat to go this direction. So again, we're just gonna squeeze it on. And I'm gonna put this down a little bit further because I want I want her to look a little shorter. So he's a little bit taller, his nose is up higher. I'm gonna ooh, squishy this all down in there. And I didn't put any stuffing in this one. This fabric is pretty rigid and stands stands well on its own. So about like that. And now I have a better idea of where to put my nose. 
Let's get one of these shoved in. I used uh, clear ties on yours. They don't show anyway because we're going to tie twine around them. But I'll just squish them all up in there. Try to get my semen back. I'm doing good. I just poke them up in there pretty high. And then you can just kind of pull them back out. So, depending on how you want them, if you want them long, you can pull them out long and kind of twist them outward if you want. Um, the nose, you kind of see how it's going to look. And then I'm just going to pull this out of my way. I want the nose right there, keeping my eye on that spot. Maybe just poke a little indentation so I know. And I can adjust my braids after. A little gob of glue. Poke that in. Let it set a couple seconds. And then I can pull my little hat down. And again with the faux fold, I just kind of pinch it and tuck the upper part of the fabric down in I'm gonna try to get it down a little bit further I like his nose just tucked in tucked in just a little bit and I squish my body so that I can get the hat to slide a little easier make sure I got my fold Looks good to me, and I can adjust this little purple braids. There, so we got the base done. Now we just have to add like our little buttons and adjust like this one. I, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I just kind of glued. I just put a little bit of glue here and just tuck that on so it just stay close to his, to the hat like that. I'll do that now. Let me get it how I want it. So just a little spot right there. And then just place it down. Just press. So there I've got his hat. Lost my fold. Shove it down on a little bit more. Get my fold back. I don't recall having this much of a struggle last time. There. Fix his beard a little bit. It's going crazy. Ta-da. And let's do the buttons. So you can decide really where to put these. Um, if you're happy, you could put them here or here. She needs the two on her chest. And I just put the tiniest little bit of glue and just stick them on. If you get too much, you're gonna have glue showing all over the place. It does kind of ooze through the holes. So it's just enough to get them stuck on. Doesn't take much. We got her and his little buttons. I'm gonna put them on this side. Um, if you have your gnome over here and this going this way, maybe you'll wanna put them there. It's up to you however you wanna do it making your own in just little ways so just right here same amount of glue just a dab stick them on so he is done complete mr gnome 
super cute. And then all we have left on her is to use our twine. Let me get it out here. So we've got this big piece. Let me unroll it so I don't end up with a knot. Got the paper stuck to it from the label. This long piece is for tying up here. And these shorter pieces are just to put knots around the ends of the braids. So let's do the braids. I give you plenty. Joss, the dog, thinks she needs out. She's been out like 15 times already this morning. So I'm just doing a knot and I'm doing it really tight. So it's just a square knot. It's like tying your shoes, but you do it, do the first part twice. Nice and tight. Same on this one. Going right around that little crazy hair tie thing. Yours are clear, so no worries. And then another one, nice and tight. And then we can trim these right off. Boom, done. Boom, done. Ta-da. So we got the cute little ends to those. And then here, I'm just gonna like right in this area, right in the fold. And this is gonna be a bow. So I start it off. And you can kind of adjust where you want it to go. Slide it before you pull too tight. Get it slid where you want it. And then tie the bow. And adjust it so it doesn't look all goofy. It's a little long. And then you can trim these guys. lay down and not be wild and crazy. Make these a little longer. So you're just gonna fiddle with it till you're happy with the way it looks. There, ta-da. And now we're done. We got our cute little couple. Hope you enjoyed making these. I know it's a short, quick project. Um, I'd like to see them when you're finished. Please share on my Facebook page, um, at Paint Willy Nilly. Um, visitors can post, or you can just send them in a message. You can tag at Paint Willy Nilly. Unfortunately, I don't always get notifications when you do that, so I apologize if you've done that and I haven't responded or, you know, liked it or anything. I just haven't seen it. Facebook, Facebook doesn't like me sometimes. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for more videos and different gnomes. I'm sure I'll be creating more little kits in the future. Um, thanks for watching.